Hey what is going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and this time I will show you guys 10 tips and tricks that will help you improve the speed of any iPhone on iOS 12. Reducing transparency this is very very helpful especially for older devices like if you have an iPhone 5s or an iPhone 6 on iOS 12 then you will have to enable reduced transparency just go to settings go to general go to accessibility and from here go to reduce transparency enable it and now it will reduce as you can see right here on the dock on the background right here it will reduce all the nice effects and the blurs and all that but of course make your device faster another thing that you can do is reducing motion that will remove all the effects when opening and closing apps and unlocking your device and make it much faster so go to settings go to general and then go to accessibility and from here just tap here on reduce motion enable it and you can see when you open and close apps you will have just a nice fade effect it won't have all those crazy animations on the iTunes and App Store section on the settings app you will find here automatic downloads and you will also see here updates if you enable this it will automatically install app updates so maybe you're playing a game or doing something more important on your device and it, it is installing updates in the background that will of course slow down your device just disable this and you will be able then to uh, go ahead and update your apps whenever you want to disabling background app refresh also helps a lot go to settings go to background app refresh and you can disable it here completely or you can just go ahead and disable it manually for any of your apps devices that have less space available will become slower so what you can do is delete apps that you don't use or you don't really need but just have them there on your device just go to settings go to general and go to iphone storage and you will see here a list of your apps it will show you here when you have last used that app and also how much space it is taking on your device Clearing the Safari browser also helps your device perform better. Go to Safari and then just scroll down right here and clear history and website data. Click right there and it will clean everything on the Safari app. Apple has made Siri a big part of iOS and of course it's always like working in the background and that will take a lot of CPU usage of your device. And of course your device will perform worse when you have Siri there in the background. If you don't really use it like I don't do, like I basically never use Siri, then just go ahead and completely disable it and it will make your device run a bit smoother. Another thing that will help your device perform a bit better is disabling unnecessary widgets right here on the widgets page. So you can see I have only one right here and this is the only one that I keep all the time. Of course, a lot of people might need to have more of them, but don't keep those that you don't use. They will take CPU space, they will use the CPU, so just go ahead and remove any of the widgets that you don't use. Another thing you can do is clear the RAM memory of your device. So if you have an iPhone 10 or the newer iPhones that don't have a home button, what you need to do is just go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility, and then just let me find here assistive touch. Okay, just enable assistive touch. You will need it to perform this act. So on other devices all you have to do is just go to the power down menu so let's just go to the power down menu here on the iPhone 10 and on other devices once you're here you just tap and hold the home button on the iPhone 10 just tap there and hold the home button right there on the assistive touch and this will clear the RAM memory of your device and last but not least is something really simple reboot your device every once in two or three days just go ahead and reboot your device even if it don't needs to be rebooted just reboot it occasionally like every three or four days or whenever you can go ahead and reboot your device it will run much smoother so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully your device will perform better once you have implemented all these tips and tricks that i just showed you guys so that's it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and we'll see you guys on the next one